Hi, my name's Luke, and uh, this video right here is entitled Harmonica Basics 36. Uh, it's kind of a review of uh, positions and modes, and I was just taking a sequence there from If I Only Had a Brain, and uh, just taking it right through a scale. And sequences are a really nice way to um, get our ears familiar with the modes and not get too root bound. Um, but anyways, the, the main point of this video here is just to talk about uh, the modes and the positions. So I've done some videos on first position stuff. Um, first position, of course, I've got a C harmonica here. We would just be in the key of C. And right, that's the sound of first position uh, on the harmonica. And uh, there's a video that I did on uh, the first position major scale. Right, and then also on the uh, first position major pentatonic scale. All right, and uh, again, the intervals of the major scale, uh, which we talked about is, uh, you have your root, major second, major third, perfect fourth, perfect fifth, major sixth, major seventh, to the octave. And the major pentatonic scale, the intervals is just the root, the major second, the major third, the perfect fifth, and the major sixth. So the difference between the major scale and the major pentatonic scale is the pentatonic, as the, de as the name denotes, is only a five note scale. And you're simply emitting the, the fourth and seventh uh, note in the major scale. Okay, from there we move to second position. Second position is... Right? Now on a C harp we would now be in the key of G. So we would be up a fifth. Each time we change positions, we're going up a fifth. Um, so now we are in the key of G. I've done uh, uh, videos on the uh, G major pentatonic scale. Uh, and I believe I've done some videos on uh, the G Mixolydian scale as well. Okay, and the, when, we're, when, when I'm talking about G Mixolydian, mix, all Mixolydian is, it's the fifth mode. It's playing from G to G on the white keys of the piano. And if you analyze that, it's, got, it's just like the major scale, but it's got a flat seven in it. Okay, so it's a, great, uh, it's a great scale that you can use over a dominant seventh chord, which is a dominant seventh chord, of course, being a major triad with, the, with a flat seven on top. So that's why the Mixolydian mode works great there. So for example, Mixolydian would be a great uh, tonality to use over, for example, a chord progression that went from G to F. Um, you know, I'm just gonna grab a guitar here real quick, you know, something like this. Uh, Jerry Garcia used a lot of Mixolydian mode, um, and uh, it's, 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 I think, a really helpful mode in a lot of reggae kind of stuff, you know, like I was playing in there. That's a real common progression in reggae from, from, the, from the root to the flat seven harmonically. Okay, so that's a little bit about second position. Uh, and again, there's, there's videos on that. I'll put the links to the videos in the info tab if you haven't checked that stuff out yet. And then third position, again, we're going up a fifth now. So now our root instead of G is going to be D on a C harmonica. And uh, here, of course, now we are based on the one draw. So that was just, I just played the minor pentatonic scale in third position. And I've got videos, three different videos, one on the bottom octave, one on the mid octave and one on the top octave of the pentatonic scale, the minor pentatonic scale in third position. So again, you would be using in third position a C harmonica to play in the key of D. Okay, so the one thing that I didn't really mention in the third position videos that I've shot so far is that if you play all the notes from D to D, just like if you play D to D on the white keys, 
That mode is called the Dorian mode. And if you analyze the intervals of the Dorian mode, uh, it's very similar to, um, what's it very similar to? It, it's, like, it's like a minor scale with a raised six. So you've got a major second, a minor third, a perfect fourth, a perfect fifth, a major sixth, a minor seventh, and an octave. The Dorian scale can be uh, heard, uh, some very famous songs that utilize the Dorian scale. Um, let's see. Right, Oye Como Va by Santana. Um, so What by Miles Davis. Uh, you know, there's a lot of the quote, what is referred to as modal jazz, uh, Riders on the Storm by The Doors, that would be another uh, well-known song that's in the Dorian mode. And if you want to play the Dorian mode, it's just like playing the same as, if you know the first position major scale, then you, you, know, you, you know all the notes for any of, the, of modal playing on the harmonica in, in the various positions. So in other words, you know, if you know the first position major scale, um, that's from C to C. It's the exact same notes, but now we're just thinking about it from a D minor perspective to play in third position for a Dorian, Dorian kind of a sound. That's that Dorian kind of a sound versus same notes, but if now I'm playing in a C major kind of a tonality, it's all the same notes. It's just it's just reorienting what you're thinking about as home bass. And again, for the mixolydian mode in second position, same thing. It's the exact same notes as the C major scale. It's just thinking about the root from a different place. So, um, I just wanted to uh, review that a little bit before the next video where we're going to start to get into fourth position, which would be the natural minor mode. Um, but a great way to um, sort of not get uh, too root bound when you're practicing, I'm going to give you here a great um, exercise, which is that instead of thinking about necessarily just practicing it's good to it's good to practice you know just just a dorian scale for example in fact why don't we just do that right now so the dorian scale if we do one octave we're going to go from the one draw to the four draw and then back down one two ready go <laughs> now back down Okay, so again, it's, you're just playing the C major scale, but we're starting on the one and, and going to the four draw. Now we do the same thing in the middle octave from the four draw. And then from the eight draw back down. Okay, and then the same thing from from the eight draw. And then we can't quite get the high octave. I'll put all these tabs in the info uh, pane too so you can check those out if you're struggling with, with any of those. Um, So that's a little bit there about the, um, the, that was an example of just playing like from the root to root in the Dorian mode, which is a really good thing. The Dorian mode is really helpful, I think, in funk stuff too, you know, like if you're doing anything with a James Brown type of sensibility, a lot of that stuff like soul power or something like that would be a good, another good example uh, of a good application where Dorian is going to fit really well. Um, 
so again, I wanted to give you this exercise that will kind of get you maybe hearing a little bit more modally and not so much just confined to specific positions is we're simply going to raise, we're going to play through the scale in sequences like this. So I'm going to play first position major um, scale. Now I'm going to go up to the one note higher than that and come back down the Dorian. Now I'm going to start one note higher than that, which will be going up Phrygian, so we'll be starting on the two blow this time. Now I'm going to draw on the same note to come back down. Now I'm going to start on the two draw. You get it? Sorry, then draw. So same thing coming back down. So you're just always going down one. I'll, I'll, I'm, again, I'm doing it kind of quickly here, but hopefully you get the idea. This is a great way to practice um, playing through the modes. Okay, so I'm kind of rushing and making some mistakes there and stuff, but this is just to give you an idea of, you know, and it's the same thing as, as I talked about in some of the earlier videos too, of t just taking a three note pattern or taking a four note pattern or skipping notes, you know, so examples of those would be. Or three notes. Or, or skipping notes. So these are all different things that, different ways that you can practice scales to, to be learning how to play all kinds of different melodic material and it just sort of frees you up and you're improvising. You'll, if you do some of these things, if you kind of be disciplined and, and practice some of those types of things, I think you'll find the next time you're in a, in a context of playing with other musicians, some things might pop out of your harmonica where you just be like, whoa, where did that come from? That was cool. Um, so it's uh, one of the things of delayed gratification. So um, hopefully this video didn't do more harm than good. I, um, and again, hopefully it'll be supplemented by information in the info pane and uh, by watching some of the early videos if some of that stuff is unclear to you. But I just wanted to do summing up a little bit of first, second, and third positions, which I, I'm probably kind of done in the Harmonica Basics series now. And, and now we'll be moving uh, on into fourth position. Um, again, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for all of your support and feedback and uh, keep on playing the harmonica.